Let me start with this. All pound for pound lists are subjective. My su subjective criteria is to go over the past two years and see who they fought, who they beat, who they performed against, how they performed against them. And to me, that takes time because it requires a deep dive into their recent careers. So I rarely do pound for pound lists. I do them occasionally. You've seen my videos. Hopefully, you know I done, I've tried them before. So I haven't done one in a while. I don't plan to do them in a fish in a long time. But I bring this up because there's been a lot of talk recently, or last past weekend, when I say recently, about Josh Taylor belonging in consideration in people's pound for pound lists with his victory over Jose Ramirez to unify the entire light welterweight or super lightweight division, whatever you want to call it, 40 pounds. I was thinking, were we sleeping on both Taylor and Ramirez like we're sleeping this fight before the fight? Because this fight got very, very little hype for a fight of its magnitude. Josh Taylor has wins over Victor Postal, Ryan Martin, Ivan Brangshek, Regis Pogre, and now, of course, Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez came in the fight with a pretty good record for himself, too, with recent wins over the likes of Jose Zabita, who's a good boxer. I think he fought down to his level against Hank Lundy, and I might talk about that when I do my next, next for a video. But also has wins over Victor Postal and, of course, Marie Sucker. So both guys came in as strong resumes. I think both should have been, in retrospect, considered, at the very least, within the top 10 pound-for-pound -pound boxers in the world. That's just my, my opinion, that they have strong resumes coming in. They meet, they submit the criteria, at the very least, of, of, of having a, a good resume, good fighters in their resume. I think that's just as important as, if not more important than just how, how they look. Because I think too many people give, my, this is my one criticism on pound pound list, too many people give style points for how you look in the ring. But I think it, it's more important at how you beat and how you beat them. So I guess style is important, but who you beat is more important to me. I, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, looking back, I believe that we should have ranked Bo Taylor and Ramirez higher in pound, on the pound for pound list. But what do you think? Please leave in the comments this video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe to Sports Talk Troy on YouTube. Please check my non-sports YouTube, my TikTok, my Instagram, and in the description, everything helps out. Everything's appreciated. Thank you very much, and we'll talk soon.